10 most indebted African nations When a country is in debt, it doesn't mean that the country is poorly run or financially unstable. Actually, some of the world's biggest economic powers have a lot of debt. Taking loans for one reason or another is not a bad thing, but there is a fine line between healthy and unhealthy amounts. In 2010, the World Bank published a study which revealed that a 77% debt to GDP ratio was a tipping point for developed economies and a 64% ratio for emerging markets. It was clearly seen that the countries which stayed above this threshold for too long saw significant slowdown in their economic growth. Most African countries have accumulated Chinese debt, making it a good portion of their total foreign debt. So this video will not only be presenting to you with the most indebted nations in Africa, but will equally show you the African countries with the highest Chinese debt. Welcome to Think Which Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. If you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Number 10. The Democratic Republic of Congo DRC. Although the DRC could easily be one of the richest countries in the world, considering how it is abundantly blessed with precious natural resources and minerals, it is plucked into debt. This is because the plundering of these resources has set the country back, including unending conflict. The DRC was quick to exchange mineral resources for loans with China and now has an estimated cost and debt of 3.4 billion US dollars. Number 9. Ghana Ghana is in a debt crisis. Despite having a significant amount of its debt cancelled a decade ago, the country is losing 30% of government revenue each year to make external debt payments. Ghana stands at number 9 with an estimated Chinese debt of 3.5 billion US dollars. The country's opposition has involved the IMF to help look into the country's debt. Number 8. North Sudan This conflict torn northeastern African country has an estimated debt of over 6.4 billion US dollars. Although China has written off the debt the country incurred in 2015, it still has a long way to go in covering its external debt. With the present conflict coupled with the economic setback brought about by the crisis, will Sudan ever succeed in paying off all its debt? Number 7. Kenya In Kenya, nothing is working towards cutting down the levels of debt to China, even after the discovery of oil in the northern part of the country. Kenya has an estimated debt of 7.9 billion US dollars. The country has been taking money to facilitate the completion of its infrastructural projects, but due to the lack of transparency and accountability, a lot of money has been lost to corruption. Number 6. Ethiopia Chinese infrastructure development projects in the eastern African countries come at a heavy price. Ethiopia has an estimated debt of about 13.5 billion US dollars. The debt levels have slowed down projects due to repayment issues. Fortunately, a new structure of these debts has been implemented that makes it a little bit affordable for Ethiopia to repay. Number 5. Angola Angola, the African country with the highest Chinese debt, is estimated debt is over 25 billion US dollars. Shocking indeed, but has a reality at hand. Most of Angolan oil is going towards the repayment of Chinese debt, despite Angola being the second largest producer of oil in Africa. Angola has a debt GDP ratio in 2020, which was 127.12%. This rise is in its debt GDP ratio was due to the crisis faced during the pandemic. Number 4. South Africa in the year 2007, South Africa was in a budget surplus, that is, its income exceeded its expenditure. The overspending, mismanagement and alleged corruption of former President Jacob Zuma under its rule were principal causes for the country falling into increasing debt, as reported by Bloomberg. South Africa's gross national debt sits at 3.81 trillion rand, that's $261 billion, a 20.7% increase as of 2019. The coronavirus pandemic is said to make things much worse, according to the country's treasury projections. In the best case scenario, South Africa's debt will peak in 2024, while the government works to stabilize the country's economy in the meantime, which is not an easy task in the midst of the pandemic. If no action is taken, the debt to GDP could surpass 100%. Number 3. Morocco The IMF reported in December 2019 that Morocco had made significant strides in strengthening the resilience of its economy, although the national debt has steadily increased annually. This North African nation has really felt the financial shock of the coronavirus pandemic, which has prompted its debt to leap from 65.5% of GDP in 2019 to 76.6% in 2020. Tourism is the second largest contributor to Morocco's economy, and the country was predicted to lose about $13.85 billion when traveling was restricted due to the pandemic, according to the National Tourism Confederation. In response to this, the government was forced to increase borrowing and plunge Morocco further into debt. The country's debt sits at an estimated 819.5 billion dirhams, which is the equivalent of $92.28 billion. Number 2. Egypt 
Egypt experienced economic crisis during the late 1980s and early 1990s, and then again following the fall of former President Hosni Mubarak in 2011 after years of unsustainable borrowing practices. In 2016, the government started a bold economic reform plan that prioritized reducing the nation's debt, and its success made it one of the fastest growing emerging markets in the world. The plan improved the country's resilience in weathering the challenges of the coronavirus pandemic. Even though the country's debt crept up to 77.96% of GDP in 2020, it remains below the 2018 figure of 81.3%. In 2021, the country will be hoping to get back on track in terms of reducing its debt, which is currently at 5 trillion Egyptian pounds. That's $320.9 billion. Number 1. Zambia Zambia's President Edgar Lungu's poor economic management and alleged corruption has pushed the country's debt up in recent years. In the year 2020, their debt was almost equal to the nation's entire GDP. China and Chinese institutions have lent the African country about $3 billion, making up a quarter of its foreign debt. And as the COVID-19 pandemic brought the country's copper production to a halt, its borrowing habits have proven unsuitable. Zambia has been able to put off some of its debt payments because of the havoc caused by the coronavirus outbreak. But as its debt currently stands at 405.71 billion Zambian quarters, equivalent to $19.16 billion, the country is on the brink of a debt crisis. This debt trap that a lot of African countries have tangled up in is one of the reasons for Africa's slow economic growth. Can Africa ever overcome this crisis and emerge? Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment if you feel any country was left out. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications and help our channel grow.